Are you hungry? Because if so, you're in the right place. Today we're making Cordon Bleu Carage. So moist. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Gut. Uh, you already know what we're making, um, but the background is I was uh, helping some friends out who did a pop-up in Zurich. It's my Viennese friends. And I was helping them in the kitchen. And one of the dishes on the menu was this Tori Karage. Well, it's Tori's chicken and then it's Karage, but it's Tori Cordon Bleu Karage. So we're going to fill the chicken with some nice cooked ham and some cheese. Um, and we're going to make it like a Karage. But before we have a look at the ingredients, as always, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, which I know a lot of you aren't, unfortunately, please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. And check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode goes live. But now let's have a look at the board. As you can see, it's not that many ingredients. And I would say most of them are used to kind of decorate the dish. So this is the decoration part here. We have some cranberry jam. We have some spicy mayo. I'm not going to show you how I did this. It's sriracha and kewpie mayo mixed together at a um, ratio that fits your spice tolerance and we have some chervil so that's to decorate the dish uh, for the cooking uh, before we deep fat fry it we're going to dip it the cordon bleu in some soy sauce and then we're going to coat it with potato starch now you can use corn starch or rice starch as well but potato starch works the best and gets the crunchiest result obviously we have what we need for the cordon bleu we have our chicken thighs we have some wonderful Swiss, very powerful cheese that's going to melt really nicely. And we have some nice cooked ham. I have three pieces of ham because I'm making three pieces of cordon bleu. They're quite big. Um, I'll calculate you need one and a half thigh per cordon bleu. But the first thing we need to do is to prep our chicken. So we'll start out with that. Now, the first thing we need to do is to skin them. Just get in there with your fingers and pull, pull off the skin. And I'll see you once you skinned all your chicken and then we'll cut them. And now this is what it looks like. And we're just gonna split this into two. Obviously check if there's any kind of hard pieces left and cut them out in this one, we're lucky there's not. And then we're gonna use our hand to just flatten it a little bit. And that's all we need to do. So do that to your chicken as well. And then I'll show you where we go from there. We're ready with the chicken thighs. Next up is the cheese and the ham. I'll start with cutting off the outside of the cheese. Always good to try. Very nice. I think it will be okay with these three pieces. Maybe an extra one there. The rest, sandwiches. Now it's time to pack these. Out with the ham. Try to open it without breaking it too much. And we just roll it in. That's all we need. To do that to the other combinations, cheese and ham. And after that, I'll show you what we have to do. Now you can leave these here, get your cling film out, and we'll cover the board with cling film. And get our chicken. And 
and we place it overlapping three halves. I'm going to take one of our rolls, place it in the middle, and now we start rolling. Make sure that it's tight. And roll it all the way back. And now take both ends and you can just roll it towards you to close it. And there we have our cordon bleu. Now it's important to take a little knife, small knife, and pick holes so that um, steam or hot air can escape. Now we're going to do the other two obviously, but I'll let you do them yourselves. And then we're going to steam this for 25 minutes at 65 degrees. 65 degrees, 65 degrees Celsius. And that's just to get them to set a little bit and keep their shape. So then when we uh, flour them and deep fat fry them, they're not going to fall apart. So do the rest of your uh, cordon bleus and then we'll get them in the steamer. Let's pack them up here, preferably with the holes that we just made facing upwards into the steamer. 65 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. I see you once they're done. They've been in for 25 minutes and none of them have broken because then you would have seen most probably some cheese running out. We'll unpack them and then I'll show you how we um, are gonna flour them. Now we need our soy and our potato starch. And I put some deep fat frying oil on the stove and it's heating up, it needs to get to 180 degrees Celsius. But we can do this first. So you just roll it in the soy sauce And now we move it over to the potato starch. I want to make sure we cover everything, also the ends. Like this. And then we'll, we'll just shake it off before we slide it in. But now I'll move the camera so we can see what it looks like when we deep fat fry it. Our oil is up to temperature and as always when you fry stuff at home and you don't have a deep fat fryer don't fill it all the way up. You saw now I did not even half with oil and that's the safest bet. Now set your uh, timer for eight minutes. Let's have a look. Still no cheese escaping it. It's been eight minutes we're ready to take it out. So get a kitchen towel, like I have here. I don't know if you can see it. And just put it on a kitchen towel. And we'll let it cool down a bit and then we'll serve it up. Now it's up to you if you want to serve this whole or not, but I'm going to slice it. I hope it stays beautiful. Still very hot. Could have waited a little bit longer. Hot, hot, hot. My recommendation is wait a little bit longer. I'm going to lift this over. Now we have our condiments slash decorations. I'm going to put the dollop of cranberry. We 
on there. With a generous portion of chili mayo. But before we put on the herbs, if you stuck with me this far, there must have been something you enjoyed about this episode. So do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up button. It only takes you a second. It's down there, but it's so valuable to me. So please do that. Now, herbs. There we are. Let's dig in. Can't wait for this. Let's get in there and get one that has cheese in it straight away. Mm. You can see the creaminess of the cheese. Melted perfectly. Get some cranberries on there. Let's hope, oop. Let's hope there's not too hot. Mm. This is perverse, but so good. Mm. <laughs> You're not gonna regret trying this one out. Just look at that. Mm. It's nice to have the sweetness with it, of the cranberries. Still crunchy. Mm. This is amazing. It might seem like a pretty strange combination at first, but boy, does it work. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's salty, it's creamy, it's crunchy. It has so much going for it. If you enjoy this, like a normal cordon bleu, then you will love this. And the chicken thigh, you know, I love chicken thigh. Um, it never gets dry. You can even overcook it and it doesn't get dry. Mm. It's perfect. Now, if you have any questions about this recipe, do me a favor, leave a comment, or leave the question in the comments. I always answer them. Um, and if you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button, check the bell icon. And a big thanks goes out to Captain Mayo, Mario. He was the one who showed me to do this this weekend. So without his help, I would not be able to do this now. But uh, give it a try yourself. It is quite easy once you've seen how to do it. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you do. But that's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye.